What's up guys and welcome to episode 13 of my Manchester United career in Football Manager 2016. So we're going to start this episode off by getting into a Capital One, Cup, Capital One Cup third round draw. That's a tongue twister for me. And yeah, so let's get it underway. So this is the start of Season 2. Nottingham Forest get Liverpool. Norwich get Watford. Brentford get Sunderland. Birmingham get Manchester United. So we have Birmingham City at St Andrews. Is it still called St Andrews? It is. 30,000 capacity stadium. Pretty decent. Should be able to get a nice win from that. I can play the youth. I was planning on it anyway because I don't really care if I win the Capital One Cup this season or not. So if we just advance forward a little bit, there's the Champions League group store. And I've signed Martin Montoya. So if we have a look, he was three million, he was transfer listed, so I I was like, sure. Why would you not? And then Andres Townsend, he was four point four million transfer listed. So I thought, I can buy him, I can sell him on at the end of the year if I need to. Um, delighted to have him accept, David can help. Um, it's fine, I'll spend it wisely. Yes, we've robbed them, we we'll have. I mean, he's not amazing, but he's a good backup. Okay, so we are going to get top spot in one of the groups because we won our league. Man City are also here because they won the Champions League last season. So who are we going to get? Actually, we get to find out. So we get Napoli. Who would I prefer? Probably Kiev. Okay, we'll get Marseille. And now, Celtic, we get Wolfsburg. Wow, that's a pretty tough group. Napoli, Marseille, and Wolfsburg. Bayern, Chelsea, Dane Moore, Celtic, Real Madrid have an easy group. Atletico have a pretty easy group. Barcelona, Juventus, that's pretty obvious which two teams are going to get through. Um, PSG have a pretty easy group. That's a, that's a really interesting group. All four of those teams could go through. And then that's, Group A is also quite interesting as well in that respect. So that's going to be our group for the Champions League. And I will quickly show you how we're doing in the league so far. So we're fourth. We've won both games. I'll show you the calendar. So we beat Stoke 4-3 on the opening day of the season. Lacazette and 2 on his debut. Did he play in the... I don't know, he played in the um, Community Shield. So on his Premier League debut, we got two goals. James Wilson got one off the bench. Yanazai got one off the bench. And then we beat Liverpool 1-0. Wayne Rooney with the goal in the 41th, 41st minute, not 41. And I will bring you back. I think the first... I'm going to try and get through this season a bit quicker. Because I don't really care about the league or the Capital One Cup. I want to go into the Champions League matches. So I think I'll actually bring you back for the Capital One Cup, Capital One Cup game against Birmingham. And that's going to be our game for this episode. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, I'm running out of time to get this video filmed for it to go up tomorrow, my time, eh, well, actually, it's not tomorrow, it's Friday morning at the minute for me, it's about 2.30 a.m., and I really want to get to bed soon, so we're just going to play the Norwich match instead of the Capital One Cup game, and in the next episode, we will play the Champions League game, so I will join you in the match, this is the team we're lining up with, Rooney's out injured, um, Laporte is out injured. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of injuries if we have a look here. Rooney's out. Um, Mouth is out. Lucas Romero's out. 
Juan Mata's out, Montoya's out. Montoya's out for basically four months, four, four or five months. Great signing, that. He's the new Bularoos. Sergio Diaz is out. The party is out, as I said, and Gokhan Gull is out. Sergio Diaz is unhappy because I didn't put him in the Champions League, League squad. But he's out for four months. Of course I'm not going to put him in the Champions League squad. Right, I will join you in the... Just before we get into the match, I just wanted to show you this. Sorry, Manchester United and Norwich City fans. I just can't separate these two sides. This goes down as a draw in my book. We won the league last season. We're currently third. We're unbeaten. We've won every game this season. Norwich are bottom. How, how are we not favourites? I mean, we are on the odds from Skybet, but Liam Ford from Mirror Football thinks it's going to be a draw. Is he insane? Right, I'll join you in the game. Okay, guys, we are in the game. They're kicking off. Let's get underway. So Kovacic intercepts, and that's the end of the first highlight. But two minutes into the game, Kovacic to Damian to Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger out to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, can he get across in? Gets across in. Martial, Lacazette. Lacazette scores two minutes in. Fourth goal of the season already after four matches. What an inspired signing he has been. He's so good. I've actually never used Lacazette on Football Manager or on FIFA. I know a lot of people do use him, especially on FIFA, but he's just amazing. I'm shocked. And he was, he cost me what, 30 odd million? Brilliant signing that. Right, so. Is there going to be any more highlights? We're having to play Gabriel Barbosa, as I was mentioning, because Rooney's out. And they have a free kick, that's not good. Right, Housen to Redmond. Van Rin. Oh, Van Rijn. It's probably Van Rijn. Dorans through to Selerovic. Sel Selerovic, is it? Seferovic. Seferovic. Right. My throat's starting to go. I've basically all of Friday's videos and some of Saturday's I've just recorded in one sitting. So my throat's kind of going. So apologies if my voice breaks or something during this video. So Gabriel, Gabriel through to Martial. What a cross by Gabriel. Second goal of the season for Martial and this 4-3-3 is working extremely well. Because the wide attackers act as wingers. Look at that ball, straight into Martial. This defender could have done a bit better. Mazic. He should have been keeping closer to Martial. Alright. Let's... Don't get complacent. See, that seemed to work. Right, who's really tired? It's... Diego Reyes is tired. Let's bring on Jan Kirchhoff. And let's take off Kovacic is tired. Let's bring on Telemal. Let's start the second half. Right. We basically have three formations now. They'll we can play and get basically a full first team, even though we may be playing like 20 different players. I'm actually really struggling. I've got too many good players that choosing the squad for the Champions League was incredibly hard. Like, Diego Reyes isn't in. Marcos Rojo is not in. And there's a few others, like Zivkovic, and Christian Pavon, they didn't make it, 
Gabriel Barbosa didn't make it just because we didn't have the space. You're only like 25 or something and you need to have a certain number of homegrown players. We don't have many homegrown players in our first team squad. We have what? Phil Jones slash Chris Smalling, Luke Shaw, Wayne Rooney. So I have three, basically. So yeah, we're really struggling with that. And there's not really any attacking England players that I really want to sign. Okay, Luke Shaw's going to get himself sent off. Luke Shaw! Bye! He's got himself sent off. Not again. Not more of this. Right. So, we're going to... Do we have any defensive substitutions? No, we don't. I'm going to bring off Gabriel Barbosa for ha Hammers Wilson. I keep calling him Hammers Wilson. Can Damian play at centre-back at all? He can a bit. So, now we're... We're now playing a uh, three-three-three. We'll play him at the central centre back role. Um, let's get some more goals. So we're currently two 0 up. Luke Shaw will miss the next Premier League match, which I believe is against Chelsea. Which is annoying because my second choice left back is out injured. My second choice right back is out injured, and my third choice right back is out injured. I have basically no one to play at left back. That's going to be annoying. I think Rojo is still fit. So I can bring him in. Oh yeah, Andy Carroll now plays for Norwich. I believe they signed him for like 1.4 million. Something like that. They're going to counter here. Malumbu. Out to Andy Carroll. Redmond picks it up. He's going to cross to Carroll. To Dorans. To Brady. Brady scores. We'll have to be doing better than that, lads. Come on. It's not good enough. Look how much space we leave at the back here. I mean, I know we're down to 10 men. But it's not good enough. It's Norwich, the bottom of the table. We have another chance. Cross it in. And it's cleared, and number four, Jones, picks it up. Out to Heuberg. Back to Damian. Heuberg, Damian. Schweinsteiger. I think this is the end of the match. It could be something else. Damian. Over to Kirchhoff. Kirchhoff tries to play through um, Martial there. They have it. Brady. One last chance for them. Kirchhoff. What a recovery tackle. And that should be the end of the game. Hoiberg and it's full time. Whew, we snuck away with three points in the end there. We got away with that. Very much so. And that's, I think, going to be... Brennan Hall Valbion beat Watford 4-0. With V Montano getting all four goals. He's a Colombian from Deportivo Toluca. Interesting. Right. So if we look at the table now, you can see we're joined top with Chelsea. They're ahead on goal difference. And in the next episode, we will be playing the Napoli game. So we'll just move one game ahead, play the Napoli game. And I think we may play the Birmingham game as well. So I will see you next time. Sorry for the short length of this video, but I really need to get it uploaded. Or else there won't be a video tomorrow. So yeah, drop a like if you liked it. Comment your um, thoughts on how we're going to do this season in the Champions League. Um, maybe some suggestions for non-injury prone players I can sign in January. And subscribe if you'd like to see more guys. From Makeovers95, thank you guys for watching.